Welcome, everybody, to News That Doesn't Suck, Episode 2. We missed a day, but we're back at it today, and we're yes. going to be trying to knock out the rest of this week. If you don't know, what is News That Doesn't Suck, Holly? News That Doesn't Suck is news that we find on the internet that is from around the world of news that doesn't suck. We are going to cover the things that you guys don't get shown in the media. A little boost of positivity to start y'all's day. So, if you're ready, news. let's get into news that doesn't suck. That doesn't suck. So, Holly, one yes. of the first cool things I found, okay. and it kind of eased into it. You know how November's coming up, right? Mm -hmm. One of the big things in November is Black Friday. Mm -hmm. So IKEA is actually taking a pretty interesting stance on Black Friday. Okay. Starting on November 27th, they're going to be rebuying all good and like new items for a basically a refund to the people that are shopping on Black Friday and they're going to recycle everything that comes in. That's cool. So in is it way, like only IKEA products? Yeah, so okay. in order to el uh, be eligible for the rebuy, it's only non-upholstered items like chairs, tables, and bookshelves that have to be in good quality structure. Okay. But they're going to rebuy them, give money back in your pocket so you could shop around a little bit, and all of the stuff that they get at the end of Black Friday, they're going to be recycling. And that's in really an cool. effort to try to cut down on blatant consumerism. Well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um kind of getting a little more deeper here i found um a little nursing home actually oh. in california um that is practicing something really really interesting with their lighting mm -hmm. so you know how your sleep wake cycle is based off of daylight effectively right it mm -hmm. releases melatonin in the brain and does all that good stuff yes right so they have installed light fixtures that slowly change in lighting and intensity throughout the day in an effort to get all of their people on a proper sleep-wake cycle. Oh, that's cool. So, um, and with that, they've actually cut down pretty significantly on the use of sleeping pills in their facility. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. And my last little bit of news I have here um, is actually a little deal about uh, a research um study that came out uh, just this year uh, that links um, acts of good intention and um, like volunteer work, acts of um, uh, giving back? Yeah, exactly. In some way? Uh, to um, actually improving your both physical and mental health. That's awesome. So in a study um, from the University of Hong Kong, um, it, it was proven without a shadow of a doubt through um, over, I'm trying to find the right number, over uh, nearly 200,000 participants uh, with over 201 independent studies in the research paper mm -hmm. uh, that people who frequently volunteer or give their time in a way uh, to give back to others have better both physical and mental health with lower signs of uh, depression and anxiety as well as lower chances for heart disease and uh, high cholesterol and high blood pressure. That is so awesome. So if you give back a little bit, you can actually boost your life overall. That's so wonderful. And that, friendos, is today's news that doesn't suck. Yay! Yay! 